was shooting at demonstrators until the BBC managed to get uh, a video out to show that that was, that was what was happening. There was, there was automatic gunfire against people. And I think that, um, that, that's, uh, that, that that's part of, uh, part of Modi um, get, get, getting, getting his own way, making sure that no one's opposing him. Um, I met some brilliant journalists in Azad Kashmir when I was there and it's difficult for them to work and I know how hard they try to get the word out. The trouble is that if you're, if you're a journalist in Kashmir at the minute and you're facing restrictions, you're, they're, they're facing the same barricades and the same razor wire, they're getting special threats, they're getting attacked um, and uh, this, is no, this is not a new thing for, for journalists working in Kashmir. There's one journalist who's been attacked uh, recently who's who actually lost his eye already because they, they uh, the pepper gun, the, the, the little uh, pellet gun in his face, he lost his eye a year ago and he's now suffering further repression as a journalist working there. The army and the police are cracking down on them. And that means that, that means that nobody's, the voice of Kashmir itself is not getting out because Kashmiri journalists can't say what's happening in their own country. And I think as socialists and trade unions we have to understand the wrong side and say that kind as well. We, we need to know what's happening. And we know what's happening is terrible. The children being, the, the children being taken away from their families, women being raped to be said, the violence that's gone on. Um, and uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, that if you're in Serena, if you're working in Serenigar at the moment, you've got four government organized computers that you can work on and a government standing, uh, official standing next to you. So there's no way that, that, uh, that Kashmiri journalists can say what's happening with their own country. And I think it's really important that anybody could get the word out um, to, through social media. It's really important to do that because it's a massive gap. And it means that, the, that, Modi is, uh, the, 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 what Modi says is what we, is, is, uh, is, the, is, is being told internationally. There's also a journalist, there's also an organisation called Stand With Kashmir, which is about talking about the fact that, it, that, that, that what's happening in Kashmir is not simply about India and Pakistan fighting over the occupied territory, but actually about the Kashmiri people fighting for their own freedom and trying to get that on the table. Kashmiri people fighting back. Trying to, trying to fight for, for their own freedom. You know, I fully, fully back the idea that, they, that, that, that Kashmiri people decide who runs their country, not anybody else. Um, and I think that's really important. And I was really, really thrilled to hear that Pakistani journalists and journalists from the Azad Kashmir got together and marched from Muzaffarabad and went, tried to get all the way to the line of control with some humanitarian aid and solidarity for the people in, in, in the Indian part of Jammu and Kashmir. They, they, they were stopped, they didn't get as far as they wanted to, they didn't get to the LOC, but I thought it was a brilliant humanitarian gesture and I think we should you know, be really proud that they did that from the other side of Kashmir and stop this nonsense about people being divided. But I just want to say, freedom for Kashmir, let's fight back for them, they need our help, they need our support, thank you. Freedom! 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 Thank you. Thank you. Can I just ask you to just go down a little bit?